Kevin Friend is the fourth official there. Great atmosphere. Wonderful atmosphere, Jonathan, it really is. They say the FA Cup is diminished, well... You wouldn't believe it if you were here right now. Manchester United in the red and white. They'll kick us off and underway. Off we go in the first of this season's Emirates FA Cup semi-finals. Manchester United in the red and white, kicking from right to left towards their own fans. Tottenham in the lily whites and navy blue kicking towards their supporters at the old tunnel end and here's Harry Kane, a sharp turn away from Herrera Son awaits on the left, the shot was deflected off Phil Jones and away for the first quarter of the afternoon and Tottenham right on the front foot as they were in the league game here in January Great start, positive from Kane, lovely turn to move away from Herrera and in the end Jones has to come out quickly to block the attempted shot and It's going to be a Spurs corner that will swing away from that left-hand side. Davis is going to take it, and David De Gea is on his toes. He's frantic in that six-yard box, trying to organise his defence. And it comes, and it just sailed over the heads in there. Played back in, Son wriggling away, cross was blocked again. It's another corner kick for Tottenham Hotspur, who started in brilliant fashion. Wonderful body position from Song to let it run across him, and nearly just got in behind Valencia. He regains his position to make a superb block on the byline. Tottenham, interestingly, starting with the same lineup that started against Manchester United here in the league in January. And comes that corner, they're looking for Vertonghen. The first chance for Manchester United to clear their own line. But Sanchez is past his ball, and he's pulled up and he's holding the back of his calf. Well, he was caught certainly on the challenge from Trippier. He tried to make the pass, but then he went to ground after releasing the ball. The Spurs fans are howling, they want their team to play on. Manchester United were indicating that the ball should be played out for treatment. Sanchez is up now, he's hobbling. Tottenham went on, now technically if you wonder who has the decision to put the ball out of play, there is one man, he's wearing black, and his name is Anthony Taylor. The referee is the only one who can decide whether the ball goes out of play. Absolutely, Jonathan, that's exactly how it should be. It's the referee's decision, if he deems he's injured, he stops the play, if not, play on until the referee stops it. Here's Harry Kane, hurdling the challenge there of Jesse Lingard. I thought they got away with it, Manchester United, but this morning was uh, pulled up in the air. Manchester United just one change to their team that came here in January. They lost their two familiar lineups, but they know each other so well. They certainly do. Faster start from Spurs at this moment in time. Anthony Taylor just pulled that quick free kick back. This is the incident. Trippier just catching. Alexis Sanchez, he releases the pass, then falls to ground. It's just that right boot on his left ankle. Scored in both his semi-finals here, scored in the 2015 and 27 finals, Alexis Sanchez, but he's only scored two for Manchester United since moving. Chris Morning has scored more goals for United in 2018 than Sanchez. Here's Kane. And none in this competition for Sanchez, how he would like to open his account for Manchester United in the FA Cup today. A little bit of a slip by Davison Sanchez, restored to the Tottenham starting lineup, the most Expensive player, here's Harry Kane, drifting away, and goes to ground, Young was there with him, no foul, here's Matic, back to Herrera. Jonathan, that downpour, or certainly rainfall just before kickoff, has made it a really slick surface, and all of a sudden, players are just losing their footing at, at crucial times already. There are fools today in London town, I can tell you, we ignored the weather forecast for rain later and came out in just shirt sleeves and no raincoats. Silly idiots, I know. Two of them are sitting right up here. Me too, yes. <laughs> shirt sleeves only. But absolutely perfect conditions for this game. Well, here's the Manchester United captain, Tony Valencia. Herrera with the cross in, looking for Sanchez around the far stick. Decent defending in the end by Kieran Trippier, his dad is a big Manchester United fan, they tell me. And Trippier does well because he's just having a quick little look to see where Sanchez is. And he manages to cover and clear at that back post as Sanchez tries to get the run on him. 
Manchester United's first corner kick of the game. Sanchez will take it. Poppers around the penalty spot. This morning dangerous at set pieces, especially of late. It's eased away by Dembele. Out by Eriksen into a dangerous area. Herrera nearly pounced. That's Harry Kane. And then Davis. And playing left back. Danny Rose has uh, had got more fitness concerns in a wretched season. Good pressure by Son. He'll be happy. Good, bright, positive start from his team. Putting United on the back foot. Nice club to be knocked out of the FA Cup at the semi-final stage in consecutive seasons. Nottingham Forest in 88 and 89. Look at it's against Liverpool. Next here in the last four last season, Spurs. Here's Eric Dyer. That downpour of rain has freshened the air, actually. In comes across from Trippier. Oh, when Kyle Walker left, Tottenham fans thought they wouldn't replace him. Trippier may replace him in England's starting lineup in the World Cup finals. Yeah, he's had a good season as Kieran Trippier. Certainly, his delivery when he gets high up the field has always been very, very good. Herrera for Manchester United. Got in behind here, Lingard looking for Lukaku. But Tongan dropped back into that hole and blocked, read it well. Really good run from Lingard, positive breaking that Spurs back line. But Tongan making sure he closes the six yard line off as he tries to cut it back into the path of Lukaku. Mentioned his uh, scoring record in big games. He also scored for Manchester United in the FA Youth Cup final in 2011. Lingard takes this corner kick out and it misses Deli Ali. Headed out though, Herrera's first to it. Valencia, Lingard had stayed wide, he's in a very good patch of form, Jesse Lingard. He's ironed out the inconsistencies of his younger days. And there's so much to him, of course, he's a Manchester United boy through and through, came through the U-team ranks, Phil Jones, and Ashley Young. Sanchez again. Spurs and the squeezing, position. Yes, the Spurs squeezing up very, very high, Jonathan. As soon as they force Manchester United to go backwards, they're bringing that line up, the rear line, very, very quickly. Big space in behind them, but squeezing the game when Manchester United are playing the ball backwards. It's a raucous Wembley Stadium on this uh, late Saturday afternoon, English time. Got a wonderful week of weather. All over the UK, especially here in the southeast. Young closed down by Ericsson has made the unforced error, really. In support is Dyer, looking for Ericsson, good interchange. Young got back, read it like a fullback, actually. Ashley Young there. Well, he recovered the situation because he was just a little bit sloppy at the start, allowing Ericsson to block his forward pass. But got back into cover. As Eric Dyer tried to cut it back into Ericsson's path in the 18 yard box. Good afternoon for Michelle Vaughan. Contact is up in the summer. We had nine league starts in four seasons. And a cup regular this campaign, of course. We reached round five back in 16 with the uh, then club. But uh, knocked out by Crystal Palace once it. He wants more league football, didn't get it at the end at Swansea, hasn't had it at Manchester United, and they say he could be away, he hasn't had it at Tottenham, and they say he could be away in the summer. Rumours are starting to fly, of course, but so many players. Lukaku, lovely ball in for Linda to Sanchez. Oh, he goes to ground under the challenge from Trippier, who maintained from the word go it wasn't a foul, and the referee was well positioned. Pogba. Matic swings it in, looking for Lukaku, his first big chance. He scored in every round of the competition so far, but he missed that one. That's a big chance, and Lukaku unmarked with the opportunity to power that header back from where he comes. You can see he just pulls away from Davis at that back post. He'll be disappointed he hasn't hit the target to test form. First clear-cut opportunity for United. This season, though, Romelu Lukaku, 37 goals in 57 games for club and country.
Here's Son. This is a good direct run, so typical of him. Wants to raid him from that left-hand side. Seen it all season here in the Premier League. Davinson Sanchez. Some have been critical of his first season in English, but he's only 21. Terrific star for the future. It's a lovely ball from him to Eriksen. In comes a cross. One nil Tottenham. Deli Ali arrives. Ten minutes gone. Spurs are ahead in the FA Cup semi-final. Well, that is an absolutely sensational pass from Sanchez initially to release Eriksen down the right-hand side. And as he looks into that 18-yard box, who's arriving? Deli Ali. Can he find him? Oh, can he find him? What a cross from Eriksen. We talked about the quality of his pass. The first from Sanchez is brilliant. The second from Eriksen is sensational. And Deli Ali just covers it on the half volley as it bounces in the six-yard box to put Spurs ahead. Look at this delivery. 80 yards into the path of the run in Eriksen. Left Pogba in his wake. Now, can he deliver a touch and a cross and a brilliant, brilliant finish from Deli Ali? He's made that look easy, but that is fantastic. The way he covers that half volley into the back of the net. Two passes and a goal. A terrific first FA Cup goal for him this season. This is his 50th game of a demanding campaign. He only turned 22 last week. He celebrated by dancing the floss, you'll know that. It's a, a dance sensation that's gone viral around the planet. Many of you will know it. It was a little bit less exuberant with his celebrations there, but they will have meant so much to Deli Ali. And it has been a very good FA Cup semi-final all round so far. Here's Lingard, very nearly came to him as well. And was there a little handball in there? That's why he's complaining. Well, as Matic turns that ball in behind Spurs' defence, I think that he feels that there was a handball as it drops and looked to be going into the path of Lingard and his run. You cannot take your eyes off this game for one moment. Here's Son. If he might have thought about a, a foul there as Matic seemed to crumple down on him. Lingard still asking a question of Anthony Taylor, the referee. We've got VAR, Clive. If it, was a, if, if it was a clear and obvious mistake by the referee, VAR can contact him. Well, uh, they're certainly uh, having a look. He's now... I think consulting the VAR. It's not given, no handball. But wouldn't it have been so much better if that communication could have been passed on to the supporters here in this vast and famous bowl? Perhaps they were totally ignorant of the possible handball in the first place. You know what I'm saying, Clive? Communication yeah, absolutely, Jonathan. VAR Can needs to be much better. They want to know, both sets of supporters, everybody that's watching the game around the world. Here's Pogba, the enigmatic Paul Pogba. Try a little bit of trickery, it didn't come off for him. He's nutmegged by Trippier. Oh, Spurs fans love that. Then Bele. Bele Alley. What was it four or five nights ago at Brighton? They looked jaded. It looked as if the wheels had come off Tottenham. They're fresh here. There's a, a zest about them. And the team rotation has worked, it would see. Here's Deli Alley, who was rested in midweek. Son again hovering on that left. Kane the only man in the box now. It's aimed at him. Harry Kane couldn't quite stretch. The Manchester United players looked for a flag that didn't come and they switched off in there. No, he's not offside. When that ball's delivered, it looks as if Harry Kane, all he needs is a touch at that back post. It's Aaron into the far post area cannot get his boot on it, he's not offside, goal kick given, a fraction away of standing Spurs lead. Lovely ball in by Son, who has a good FA Cup record, eight goals in the competition in 15 matches, he's had a hand in 14 goals in those 15 games, either assisting or scoring, and that sums him up, he's nearly always involved in what is good about Spurs' side. Oh, he's been Mr Consistency for Spurs, he's been my player of the season for the club, he really has been outstanding in his contribution. And so Clive Allen, who uh, played here in that topsy-turvy, bizarre 87 Cup final that in the end didn't go well for you. Me, Jonathan. 
it was an extraordinary day for Coventry City. It was an extraordinary day all round, really, wasn't it? It was quite a remarkable FA Cup final to have played in. It was great for two minutes. <laughs> and Bele into Ericsson. The great Spurs anthem rolls around them. And the Spurs go marching in. Out by Valencia, not a clever header, straight to Kane. Here's Son. Valencia's there again. And the good pressure from Harry Kane. And Jonathan, they do look sharper. They've started the brighter of the two teams. Lukaku's big miss, and you've got to say, it was a big miss. Manchester United's first chance passed up by Lukaku. But the way in which Spurs crafted the opening goal of this game, quite wonderful passing. Teams have met ten times previously, both have won five FA Cup ties overall. There's Trippier to take on Young. Ericsson and Dyer. More mobility about Spurs with this midfield today. The Sissoko Wanyama axis in midfield didn't really work. But Brighton lacking pace is Son with plenty of that into Ali. Turned away by Phil Jones, who looked very sharp there. Only his second game since the early weeks of the year. And he had to be because Son again, he takes on Valencia, delivers into that near post area wonderful cross into a dangerous area brilliant sliding clearance from Phil Jones he's out from February the 11th with a hamstring problem came back at Bournemouth altogether he's missed 105 games for Manchester United over the years Phil Jones, Mourinho not a happy bunny down there Dembele, a sharper to the ball, seems to me they want it more. Winning tackles as well, Jonathan, which Jose Mourinho will be furious about. Kane finding space in the box, Eriksen, ooh, he's just sent it wide and that could come back to haunt them. Just didn't get the contact that he was hoping for, lovely little set from Harry Kane, Eriksen just trying to ease that ball in back into the far corner, you can see holds the ball up, rolls it into his path for the first time shot, he actually just bangs it into the ground, doesn't get the strike that he was hoping for, it pops up and away from that far upright. This is his goal after 11 seconds of Spurs 1-0 up here in the meeting in January. And that shot, Spurs third of the game, Manchester United yet to test the Tottenham goal. Defeat uh, suffered by his team here in January. Really, it ended their hopes of the title. Left them 15 points clear of Manchester. It ended their eight-game unbeaten run. And this for both sides. The last chance to win a trophy this season. He really is having a frustrating time, isn't he, Sanchez? He's tried. There's no doubt about that. But things are just not happening for him. They haven't happened for him since he arrived at Jose Mourinho's Manchester United. Matic, and again, he said even if they win the FA Cup, it won't be good enough to save their season. A team like Manchester United should be winning more. Here's Young, Pogba, quick return with Sanchez, scampering away from Trippier, and again, it just wouldn't come right for him. Eriksen, lovely touch off to Kane, he was bulked as he went for the return. Find Son, Son isolated with Valencia here. This is a big moment in the cup semi final, and Valencia got the block in. Did he have any other options there, Son? No, he didn't have any other supporting players. It was Kane that released him, and Valencia does a good defensive job one on one with Son on that occasion. As bad as they were against Manchester City here and against Brighton, who played very well in the week, by the way, Spurs are good today. Very good. In the 20th minute, Davis, this most consistent of full-backs, will swing the ball away. The tongue was just outside the six-yard area, so too Dembele. Kane had made his move trapped by Valencia. Strange, isn't it? Walker and Rose, probably the best full-back pairing in the Premier League. Irreplaceable, and yet Chippier and Davis have been brilliant all season. Spurs 
brilliant in possession so far in the opening 20 minutes. Yeah, I think they've been really good. They've been sharp as well. Whenever they had the opportunity to recuperate the ball, they've just been that split sec second quicker than Manchester United. Will they tie it? Manchester United, let's not forget about to do a lot of work off the ball in these only 20 minutes. of Dembele, Lukaku couldn't quite react quick enough and that's away by Trippier into Manchester United territory it is Lukaku's 55th game of the season Son heung ming his 56th game of the season for club and country players will be drained at this stage of the season on both sides here's Sanchez, Pogba, Young Run by Herrera just inside the penalty area. Young a little bit head down there, didn't see the run. And Davinson Sanchez away. 42 million pounds had eyebrows raised when they signed Sanchez in the summer from Ajax. He's having a good first season. Ericsson has conceded his free kick now. Pompers return campaign. A little bit hit and miss. I just wonder if this could be one of Manchester United's strengths here today when pushing Smalling, Pogba, Lukaku, Matic. Certainly an aerial threat. Jones is not coming up on this occasion, but I think they might just have the height advantage in numbers. Lukaku is furthest across but stays away. He's there to get it back in the second ball. And launched out by Harry Kane. Jones is underneath it. At the bounce. Valencia. Manchester United in possession. But forced back by Spurs. He pressed well all over the pitch. And pressing up as a team as well, Jonathan. Whenever that ball goes backwards right from the start of this game, they've stepped up and squeezed and closed the space in which Manchester United can work. An exasperated Pogba then get the free kick. I'm not too sure if he's happy playing in this sort of leftist position. Can he be the influence in games from there that we know he can? There's uh, a mistake by Vaughan. Gives Manchester United this throw in. Well, he's under pressure. Don't take chances. Put the ball out of play. And uh, just a little clip. Davis just clipping the heels of Lingard there. Anthony Taylor giving United the free kick. Midway through the half, it is flown by. Tottenham leading with a goal by Delhi Alley 12 minutes ago. Alexis Sanchez will take the free kick. Davison Sanchez, hands on approach. That is literally touch tight with Lukaku. And Jones is up this time. Much for Matic here, he's the furthest across. He's isolated with little Trippier, and it comes to him. Back in it goes. United have used that routine this season before. Jones to Alexis Sanchez. Ball in the middle to hit. Smalling was in there. Popper stabbed out of foot. Just going back to that point, Clyde. I think he relishes this leftish position. He's there winning the ball back now from Dembele. In comes across. Beautifully played! Alexis Sanchez! Well, in that moment, Jonathan, he did because he did exactly what Jose Mourinho would have wanted from him. He won the ball back and then he delivers an exquisite cross to the back post. It wasn't easy to finish, but Alexis Sanchez has found a remarkable header back where it's come from. I think that's the first attempt on target by Manchester United. Game all square. His wonderful Wembley record continues. Scored in a third semi-final, scored in a couple of finals, six in five FA Cup ties here at Wembley Stadium for Alexis Sanchez. He's five foot seven. He won it in the air and scored. Well, look at the work from Pogba. Dispossesses Dembele, but then he's got the awareness, the vision to pick out Sanchez. But that is a superb header. It's difficult to get it on target, and he takes all the speed out of it, directs it back into the far corner beautifully. That is a superb finish from Alexis Sanchez. He has an affinity with this competition. 
And he has Manchester United back on track. And his game plan paid off there with Pogba in the wide left, getting a beautiful ball in. It was indeed Manchester United's first shot on target in the game. And has the pendulum spun. And we go back to that miss by Ericsson at the other end, the Son one as well. Jonathan, what a semi-final we have on, his, on our hands. It's been a great start to the game. Epic so far. These affairs can be tawdry, tactically stifling affairs. He has his tactics in the little book. I'll tell you what, Jonathan, that is a relieved Jose Mourinho. He's making notes, but he is absolutely delighted with the response from his team after going behind. And his Chelsea team beat Manchester United after extra time in the first cup final back at the new Wembley in 2007. Here's Son into Kane. I wonder if Anthony Taylor is going to come back for the challenge on Deli Ali at the start of this move. Dyer looking for Trippier with a diagonal. And he was impeded there surely by Sanchez. Right in front of the assistant referee. Mr. Dembele comes across, his shirt was tucked by Pogba, it's a free kick to Tottenham. He's going to go back to the far side now, as you said, Clive. Yeah, Kevin Friend, the fourth official, has made Anthony Italia aware. There was a challenge by Valencia on Deli Alley, right at the start of the Spurs move, right on the halfway line. Just here, Alley regains his feet, plays the ball down the line. And Valencia jumping in. He's a lucky boy, Valencia, because it had... Deli Ali not anticipated and jumped away from the challenge. Had he caught him, that's a red card offence. Two feet off the ground in the tackle. Oh, there's so much going on everywhere, Jonathan. There's Lukaku. Three on four. But the three look dangerous. Here's Pogba joining in now. Thought about a shot. Lukaku. Tottenham pulled apart there at the back, really. And comes across. Another free header this time. It's little Jesse Lingard. Well, great decision from Pogba to feed Lukaku on the right side. His cross is a good one. Jesse Lingard just underneath it, can't get over the top to head it down. A good season he's having. He's been involved in 19 goals this season, scoring and creating one more than in the previous three seasons combined. He scored in the past against Spurs, has Jesse Lingard. It's the United support that's singing, Jonathan. They've come back to life. They're pleased with the way that their sides responded. Dembele. Song gets it back from Dembele. And that comes Herrera, loves that situation. Sanchez was tagged by the South Green. He's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, Song having to make the challenge because all of a sudden there was the opportunity for Sanchez to play that ball forward into the run of Lukaku. Song clearly striking his left shin, pulling him to the ground. What you know the game for Spurs this season? Semi-finalist here last campaign. Fantastic opening half, half an hour. And it looks so calm, Jose Mourinho. And he has he's got up his calmer now. He certainly is, but uh, he's a man who knows how to win things with his 25 major trophies as a manager. Up in Portugal with Porto, in Italy with Inter, Spain with Real Madrid, and in England with that drop the goal here in extra time. I'll tell you a story about that if I have a moment or two. That drop the goal. And here's Paul Pogba. On pitch side, 
duties interviewing the players afterwards that day and I was told to get Drogby scored the winning goal and I got him and he jumped up and I had a broken foot at the time and he landed on my foot and I wasn't going to let him go and when the camera came to us for the interview I had him in a headlock to the eight Drogba and I wasn't going to let him go we got the interview done <laughs> I yelped a bit, I must admit, when Drogba came down on my toe. I <laughs> wasn't particularly brave. Did, did you roll over, though? <laughs> but I'm going to have a go. It's been breathless stuff. Just beginning now to calm into a sort of saner rhythm on a humid, sultry, sticky late springy. Good interchange there. Pogba, the way it goes. In got out towards Young, who has Sanchez down the line. Far side is Lukaku, he looks up, helps him make sure the cross didn't come in. Yeah, he had a quick look, Sanchez, he could see Lukaku, who's isolated at that back post, one-on-one -on -one with Davis. He was trying to fire the cross into the far post area. What a great throw, read by Davison Sanchez. And here's Matic. Decent record in semi finals, but not finals, Matic. That's on the play by Ashley Young. Spurs fans have gone a little bit quiet at the moment. It's the Manchester United supporters to the left of your picture making the noise. and lifted it away. Might have been found after the ball had gone. Yeah, more comfortable than Alderweire alongside him in the week, but uh, Toby Alderweire looked far from fully fit. Not for a long while on the bench today. Then Bellet. They started so brightly, Spurs. They went into an early rhythm, but it's Manchester United who have the rhythm. At the moment, here's Lukaku, rolled away from him, now Davidson Sanchez. A few minutes where it's been a scrappy period, neither side being able to have control, possession of the ball, and it's such intensity in the way in which both teams are trying to recuperate the ball quickly as soon as they lose it. Okay. Free kick. I think there was contact there, certainly. There's a heavy touch from Harry Kane. I think he may have lost possession of the ball anyway before Herrera clicked his legs. You can see he turns inside. He's striking for the ball is Ander Herrera, but this is shooting range for Christian Eriksen. Manchester United will grumble if this one goes in. He certainly didn't have the ball under control when the tackle came in. There was a little bit of contact and Harry Kane went down. Nelson stands over the ball. He's been in this terrific run of goals, five in his last seven games. Got a couple in the quarter-final at Swansea. And Davis, and the Swansea player, is there with him. And Eriksson right-footed, he takes the free kick. Oh, played out well to Trippier. And he failed to control. Still got the cross back in. Then Bele couldn't control it. Lukaku leads the Manchester United counter. Look at this. Brute force allied with a bit of finesse too. Back comes Spurs. Swings again. Song. And here's Eric Dyer. Dembele, Dyer, his family probably had more touches of the FA Cup than any other family on earth. His granddad, Ted Croker, used to be secretary of the Football Association. A brave man in the Second World War was Ted Croker. 
OAF, but OAF in the war. Here's Son who's gone down. Well, Paul Pogger's telling everyone that he didn't touch him. Is there contact here? He certainly sticks out a right knee. Son's knocked the ball past him. Prevents him running round him. That's a foul. Anthony Taylor absolutely correct. I think Maurizio Pochettino is arguing the case that that should be a yellow card because certainly Song in that area, such a dangerous position, driving into the 18-yard box, should he have been allowed to pass by Pogba. Pogba sarcastic. And that wouldn't have done him any good either in the eyes of the referee. Must be Ericsson swinging away, or Davis who's swinging it in. Ten minutes left in the first half. It's going to be Ericsson. Tries to find his mark in the middle, it's a poor free kick. Young was there, and out now by Lingard. As the sun comes out, Jonathan. And the temperatures will rise again in the stadium. Turns out to be a lovely evening. Dembele. Davis with the cross, Herrera blocked. Bele again, two to the left. They will come out to the right hand side. Trippiers are waiting. And a big England fan, let alone Manchester. You know, apparently, he's got a massive flagpole in his garden when England plays, sticks up the old flag. That's a ball into the penalty area yeah, that's offside. Wouldn't have counted. Lifted over the bar anyway by Son as he came in. Well, that's what Christian Eriksen can do, and certainly the run is both from Ali and Song. You can see Ali's onside, Song isn't. I think the assistant is just waiting to see whether Ali makes contact with the cross or the pass before it goes through to Song, who is clearly offside. Sanchez and tickling around Trippier went down. Anthony Taylor's having none of it. Young. There's a couple of occasions, Jonathan, where Sanchez has just got to the ball first, the touch, and then as soon as his contact is going to ground, Anthony Taylor has waved those both of those occasions. He's waved it away. Sound like dappling the faces of the Spurs fans behind what the Bahia's got. Everton Sanchez unopposed. Kane can't challenge. He's standing offside. And De Gea will start things going again. Just the first time the intensity has dropped in this game. Here. 21 clean sheets this season Not until today is best at Manchester United They're beaten after 10 minutes by Deli Alley if you've just joined us and for Alexis Sanchez to level it up 13 minutes later Vaughan was under pressure Kane okay. too much weight in the pass Seems he really had little alternative but to play the hair because Romero the Normal cup goalkeeper is injured as he plays his international duty. Believes in playing football the Spurs way, Pochettino. Goes back to the early 60s, late 50s, early 60s. And he's building the club off the field of play as well as on it. Yeah, I think great understanding of the history of the club. And it's won back by Dyer and Lungard has stayed down. Manchester United fans are infuriated, so too Mourinho. Here's Son. And it's Deli Alley and he's uh, gone down rather theatrically. 
Valencia. So well, a fair degree of physicality, Anthony Taylor. Yeah, there's been some really good challenges. There's been some physicality, as you rightly say, Jonathan. I think he's refereed it well. Notice this in the FA Cup this season. Premier League referees and FA Cup ties seem to allow more physicality in the Cup. Yeah, I think that's a directive that comes in the Premier League games that is different in the FA Cup. And I've got to say I like it. Manchester United who have committed the four more fouls so far. It's a tight FA Cup tie now. It's a superb contest, a superb FA Cup semi-final. The first of this season's Emirates FA Cup semi-finals. Chelsea Southampton here tomorrow. Strange one that is that a, if Southampton get through to the cup final would supporters swap another famous cup victory for them for survival in the Premier League. It's a strange one, isn't it? It's a good run by Davis. Ericsson around the back. Son touch was heavy. Pulls it back, looking for Kane, gets the corner. Smalling making an important block. Well found by Ericsson. Son getting to the byline, he's trying to then drill the ball into the run of Harry Kane. Onside when delivered. Good first touch. Smalling making an important block. Ericsson with Spurs' third corner of the game. And that's theirs, and a pose at the far step. And a quick release. Pogba. If he looks up, Herrera on the far side is in space. Lingard's gone near side. Pogba, lovely ball. It's Herrera looking for Sanchez. Important clearance away by Davidson Sanchez. And then Vertonghen, crucially, quick to close to stop the second ball coming in. It was a good counter-attack by Manchester United and then, in the end, Herrera has to pull Vertonghen back because he knows that they may well have been overloaded. Lovely ball by Pogba out there again. He was brilliant in the week at Bournemouth and just after those comments from Paul goals where he said he was a little bit... he felt that Pogba was a bit disrespectful. Maybe that's wound him up a little bit, kick up the backside he needed. Well, it certainly worked wonders today because the way he won the ball from Dembele, the cross for the Sanchez headed equaliser was absolutely top draw from Paul Pogba. Into Dembele. The best of balls really into Harry Kane. He's young, space in front of him, he can travel into that. Into Sanchez, quick feet in that close space, Dyer was quick to pounce. to Alexis Sanchez, finding a little hole of space and finding Lukaku. Comes back onto that left foot, drove it straight at Davis. And profited by going wide, but onto that weaker foot. And there's a slip by Son, the cross looks for Lukaku. Sanchez chasing and getting there. Eriksson was sloppy, here's Young. Manchester United building up a rhythm again at the end of the half. And how the United fans love the Sanchez sliding tackle. Ball crossing by Valencia, headed out by Trippier. Here's Matic, availability to his left in Young and then Sanchez. Here he is, Alexis Sanchez, the United goal scorer. Pogba. Bending, bending, bending. And it took a goalkeeper's touch to make sure. I think it was going wide anyway. Yeah, had to make sure, did Vorm. I think there might have been a touch on the strike from Pogba as well, from Eric Dyer. It's too much space for a man of Pog Paul Pogba's ability. He's going to always take on that shot. Dyer's boot, yeah, just clipping the outside of his left boot. But that's taking it away from Vaughan. Good stop. In comes the corner. Put it away by Dembele in the middle on the edge of the penalty area. And over it flies by Ander Herrera. One goal this season. Only an 11th start for him since November, by the way. There's the... Great Wembley Stadium, with all building work going around it. Fantastic development plans here, really, to turn it into a, a Wembley sort of segment of London. Businesses and accommodation, thriving bars and cafes. Far cry from the days when it was the uh, 
See if the Empire ex exhibition and the old exhibition halls were still here for many a year until the rebuild, really. Here's Trippier. Ericsson. Bele, not going to give him go, didn't quite come off. And we have a couple of minutes of stoppage time. See, a bit of a buffeting. Kevin okay, Friend, the fourth official, would have had one here on a Result coming in earlier today from uh, the championship. He supports a team down there. I'm not allowed to say which one it is, but I can tell you it was a high scoring game. Can I guess? <laughs> you know the one I support. And he was uh, here at Wembley with us the other year, uh, watching on when that team got to uh, the junior final. I just think both coaches now will be happy to go in all square. And take, and take the lead in the closing stages. Dembele. Dyer winds up. Oh, he's at the post. Deli Ali first to react. Everyone stopped. So. Jonathan, everyone stopped because I think the way David De Gea didn't move, he just stood rooted to the spot that everybody thought it was going wide or it thundered back off the upright. No free kick given for the challenge by Herrera on Deli Alli, who turns to the referee and asks a question. The Spurs fans weren't happy. Lukaku, good battle, well won by Vertonghen, who stuck in there gamely against his uh, international colleague. Over the top. And it stayed on side. Onto the roof of the goal it does. Our time at Wembley Stadium, terrific. First 45 minutes, and this was nearly Spurs second of the game. I think maybe slight touch off of Smalling as well, and Dea wasn't going to react. You can see just hits the backside of Chris Smalling that takes it away from De Gea. He can't react to it. Closest that Spurs have come to taking a 2-1 lead into the half-time break. Deli Ali put them ahead on 10 minutes. Alexei Sanchez equalised after 23. At half-time, it's Manchester United 1, Tottenham 1. We got it right, I think. I agree, Jonathan. No intention of handball from Sanchez. Off we go in the second half, then. Spurs in the lily white and the navy blue shorts kicking away from their own fans, behind the goal to the right-hand side of your screen. Manchester United and the red and white kicking left to right and winning a decision straight away from offside flag against Harry Kane. Now, he is Tottenham's talismanic striker. He will probably pop up with a hat-trick now, I'm about to say this, Clive. He doesn't look right for me, and that's not good for club and country as his national manager watches on. Yeah, I'm interested. Observer is Gareth Southgate. Well, we want in Harry Kane at his best this summer for the World Cup. I have to agree with you, Jonathan. I don't think he's. I think he's come back too early from the ankle injury. Doesn't look anywhere near 100. percent The 48th game of the season for club and country. It is a big ask to then go on to be at the World Cup at your very best. Here's Valencia. One of the two players cautioned in the first half. Son for Spurs. Also found himself in Anthony Taylor's. Notebook. It's Herrera. Closed by Deli Alli. Took his goal so well. Herrera bustles around in midfield. It gives him a bit of mobility there. With Pogba advanced from Matic, who sits in front of the centre backs for Jose Mourinho. He's been here before, hasn't he, Jose Mourinho? He knows. It's not necessarily your team being at their best, but it's getting the job done and getting the result. 
I'm hoping to become. Ooh, what's it in the second? Sanchez was he found there by Trippier after his mistake? No, just unbalanced. Anthony Taylor was having none of that on a couple of occasions in the first half. He weighed the way appeals from Sanchez, and he was caught having had the first touch of the ball. Like I said, Mourinho's looking to become the third manager to win the FA Cup with two different clubs. Herbert Chapman, Huddersfield and Arsenal. And Billy Walker, Sheffield Wednesday and Nottingham Forest. In 1959, that was the Forest win. Dyer, and Son, Lembele. Talk in London isn't necessarily about this Dembele, but the Dembele that's up in Scotland, will he be coming south? And there's also I'm talk of a youngster at Fulham, he's the burning name now. Another Dembele went to Spurs from Fulham. Will the youngster on Session will be following his footsteps in the future? He seems to be a terrific prospect. Son will really be playing in the Premier League with Fulham next season. The way that they are performing at the moment. Absolutely, up to second they were last night. Okay, trying to get beyond Sanchez, who defended well over there. Poor crossing, and a dire block by Young. That's really disappointing from Eric Dyer. They've worked the ball from one side of the field to the other. Opportunity to deliver across. Really was a poor flat cross, easily cut out. Not quite the intensity, Jonathan, in which the game started. Perhaps that's not unsurprising. A little bit more tactical, certainly. There's been words from both coaches at half time. Well, they'd have reminded the players that it could be another 45 minutes and half an hour ahead of them. Has to be settled today, be it through extra time or penalty kicks. Son around the corner. Lingard was caught by Deli Alley and I think this is going to be a yellow card. He got caught up too close to him. It's going to be a yellow for tripping. Yeah, because he chased after Lingard as he turned away from him, Deli Alley. You can see really is a naughty challenge down the Achilles of Lingard. It's a poor challenge and I'm afraid to say that's the other side of Deli Alley. It's his sixth yellow card in all competitions this season. Jonathan, there's just no excuse for that. Right under the nose of the referee, he's clearly standing there, Anthony Taylor. Remember Sir Alex Ferguson with the Cantona on the end saying you can't tackle, so don't tackle. This is the ball up front to uh, Jesse Lingard, who's OK after having his Achilles raked. And he dumped off the ball, had gone! Can't complain, Spurs, there was contact after the ball, had gone. And the tongue and it was. Just silly little late challenges, you can see the tongue and knocking Lingard to the floor. Taylor might well have had a shout there from one of his assistants because he seemed to be looking the other way. Nothing wrong with that. Good the teamwork. Team of officials, that's what they call themselves. Matic has gone a little bit too early if it comes to him. There's some sort of movement. There was a push in there as well by Romelu Lukaku, I think. Free kick given. And it pains me, Clive, when referee said, well, I don't understand how the referee gave that decision. He wasn't, he was looking the other way. He must have got it from somewhere. Well, he got it from one of his assistants or the four. There's Sir Alex looking on. Well, he's smiling, he's enjoying himself. The greatest manager in the modern day. The weekend when the man who served the game so well for so long in London football, Arsene Wenger, announced his forthcoming departure. Was tried about that in the second. Ericsson plays it straight down the throat of Ashley Young. Chippy gets his head onto it, and here's Dembele. Good word for you on Arsene's departure from Arsenal. Wonderful for Premier League football. Not that he's leaving, but what he gave 
to his team, to his club over such a long period of time. Absolute pleasure watching his teams play over the years. Lukaku. Herrera in field to Matic. And away now to Sanchez. Lingard's made the run ahead of him. Lukaku's to his right. Tottenham holding deep, scooped up by Sanchez. Lingard going down under pressure from Vertonghen, who's telling the referee to get him to step up, stand up. Well, Jesse Lingard's never heading this ball when it's scooped in by Sanchez, you can see. Vertonghen's hands on his back, his slight shove. I don't think there could be any argument should Anthony Taylor deem that a push. Much steadier pace to the second half, as Clive was saying. Seven minutes in. Trippier looks for the run in there, Deli Ali. Phil Jones dropped back. You can see it's only Phil Jones' second game since uh, the early weeks of, of the year, since February. He looks remarkably sharp, I think. I think he's done really well, made one superb interception at the near post when uh, Song crossed for Ali in the first half. Uh, just look at Patongan's right arm there on the back of Jesse Lingard. And a slight shove. From Ballet. And towards Harry Kick. Just didn't stick with him where it might have done before his layoff through injury. Not by Young. Lukaku couldn't hold it, he's Eriksson. Fulman's been in Christian Eriksson this season, terrific stuff. Very cagey start, opening ten minutes to the second half. United keeping their shape, not allowing Spurs to penetrate, move the ball quickly upfield. Watching here, almost certainly two of England's four, possibly five, teams in the Champions League next season Chelsea not mathematically out of it but five points off Spurs and the top four should be the top four come the end of the season and they're playing for silverware here Trippier to the dead ball line Son tried to wriggle his way away Herrera was there to block and as of this of course play as of Chelsea Southampton who meet here tomorrow in the FA Cup final in May A lovely intervention there by Dyer to stop Lukaku getting away yeah, good sliding tackle, but that was an example again of Spurs knocking that ball into the area that uh, Young is defending, as we see that perfectly example of a sliding tackle from Eric Dyer. I wonder if this will come down in the end to the fitness and strength of the line leaders up front. Here's Pogba. Out by Lingard to Young and Sanchez, who really seems up for it today. He's grumbled at Manchester United, didn't like not being brought on as a substitute in the week. Switch to Valencia. Jonathan, it's not sometimes the physicality and the fragility, it's sometimes just that mentality. Tired minds. Mistake that can be costly. Lingard into the middle from the Herrera back bar, uh, cut back. He was looking for uh, Alexis Sanchez in the box. Pogba tried to win it. Davis stuck in there. Deli Ali did okay, and that's a lovely touch to Eriksson. Spurs on a sweeping counter, and there's still Jones again to read it and get it away. And he wonders whether he was clipped late by Deli Ali after the ball was gone. Really well read by Jones. He had to be totally committed to coming across to make that interception. You can see. Can Deli Ali get there? He makes sure that he makes it his. But for injuries, he'd be up around the 300 game mark for Manchester United and the 50 international mark for England, I'm sure, Phil Jones. Desperately unlucky. Dembele sweeps it across for Spurs. Trippier. It's for Eriksson. We're in there again, Jonathan, in behind Ashley Young. This time Ericsson gets to the byline and decides to go for pace in the cross. And you can see Deli Ali just pulling out but can't cover that six-yard box as it fizzes through there. And even in the PFA 11 for the Premier League this week. PFA Awards weekend this weekend, tomorrow night. 
FA Player and Young Player of the Year. And Women's Player and Young Player of the Year announced. Matic. And they're trying to get away. But Thomas had a strong game. Robinson Sanchez. That's the first choice pairing for next season, I would have thought, given that Alvaro doesn't seem to be part of Spurs' long term planning. Here's Kane. Shot was deflected away. An important deflection it was off Smalling. It's good defending from Chris Smalling because, in the end, he just has to stand his ground. Kane trying to find the shoots in opportunity slightly slips as Chris Smalling before the shot goes in but manages the block. Davis will swing this away from goal. Son's on the penalty spot, but Tonga's behind him. Eric Dyer's in near post area. And it comes now to the touch on by Son. Can't come out to Ericsson. Davis right footed. Harry Kane slipped. And Herrera's been busy and Manchester United can counter. Lukaku to Pogba, lengthens his stride, gulps up the Wembley turf. Showed too much of it to Trippio, who got across and got it away. Mentioned that Aldevar up thing there, Clive. It seems more and more likely that Aldevar won't settle at Spurs, he will move away. It seems to be that he wants to, that'll be a crying shame. Yeah, contractual situation with uh, Aldevar held, been absent through injury and then on go regaining his fitness has not established himself back in the team. That just points to me that he may well be leaving come the summer. 1-1. One, one. First half was at Grand Prix pace, Formula One. This is a little bit like more like Formula Ford. Well, they do that anymore, actually, Formula, Formula Ford. Show my age there a bit, maybe. I think it was expected to drop off just a little in terms of the intensity, and that's been the case, but still delicately poised. I can't feel the obvious danger in there. Met and cleared away on the half volley by Deli Ali, who did well actually to get in there and sweep it away. A decent game, buoyed by that early goal. The pat by Deli Ali there on the back of Jesse Lingard, young England teammates. Spurs fans stoke up the old anthem. From Blanche Flower to Perryman, from Gilzean and Chivers to Lineker and Gascoigne and Waddle and Clive Allen. They've all heard that song, that great anthem behind their backs over the years. Also Dembele. Davinson Sanchez, who was chugged by Herrera, gets around the pitch, Herrera beetles around, big day for that little lad. A great touch ball as he tried to get it beyond the defender, Jones physically did well again. I'm sure we're going to cup semi-final this, it has ebbed and flowed, Spurs on top, then Manchester United, this second half is... It's a, a quiz to work out. Now a play. 1-1, one, one, seven shots each. Become a cryptic crossword of a match. Guy, Eric's. Eric's continued the run. On making a little burst to the edge of the box, we found by Trippier. Herrera had recovered ground today for Manchester United. Yeah, he's been everywhere, he's made some important challenges, and they're really confident to head back to De Gea. Neither goalkeeper troubled in his second half yet. And he's got the initials right, THFC, but not necessarily in the right order, that little one. Here's Sanchez. Lukaku couldn't bring it under control, Lingard might... Herrera, 2-1 to Manchester United! 
They swept away downfield. They found the gaps. They found the net. They lead 2-1. Well, Jonathan, you said he's been everywhere and he's popped up in the most important position on the edge of the 18-yard box to fire Manchester United in front. There's a miscontrol from Lukaku. Good challenge on Sanchez. Good work by Sanchez to roll the ball back to Lukaku. He miscontrols. Lingard does well to leave it. And Sanchez fires it past Davis and Vaughan. He can't react. Does it go through his legs? We'll see from this angle. Lingard lets it run. Yes, it's just through Davis's legs and the pace beats form. Had the goalkeeper gone too far to his left-hand side, overcommitted, he couldn't quite get back again. Question marks about the goalkeeping. Manchester United lead by two goals to one at Wembley. There's a couple of things that have contributed to that goal, Jonathan. The physicality of Lukaku in the challenge. Sanchez, a perseverance to roll that ball back. A little bit of good fortune after the miscontrol, but Herrera's finish was clinical. I think he makes him a different side. He, he, he played 70 odd minutes against Bournemouth of the week, his first football since February the 21st when he injured a hamstring at Seville in that drab 0 0 draw when that man was so heavy, critis heavily criticised. But he has Manchester United some 27 minutes away from the FA Cup final. And he has reminded everyone this week. He knows how to win trophies. Manchester United have won the FA Cup 12 times, heading towards their 20th final at the moment. But it's not over yet. What have Spurs got? What they've got in the tank? Can they force their way back into this FA Cup semi-final? History's not good, Jonathan, is it? At this stage of the competition. Davis trying to thrust his way beyond Herrera to Lingard, the big game, big scorer, popped by the big name, that's for Lukaku, the big man. Manchester United, the pendulum has swung very much their way, Lukaku! You can only see one winner at the moment. Well, he's apologising to his teammates, but when he comes inside, great diagonal ball from Pogba, one-on-one -on -one with Vertonghen. He's always coming back on his left side. Is he going to wind it into the far post? I think he tries to catch form out at the near. Poor strike in the end from Romelu Lukaku. Eriksen. Monsieur Pochettino says you can't really look at the FA Cup for an inspiration to base your club's future on. You have to do that through title winning, through Champions League winning. But they need to win something. And at the moment, it looks as if his team, as you look at the whole balance of play currently, are slipping away and Sir Bobby Charlton's Manchester United could be gracing another cup run. Here's the goal again. Miscontrol from Lukaku. Lingard does really well because he protects the ball from Davis. And then the shot, warm, unsighted, through Davis's legs, the pace beats him. Twenty-nine FA Cup semi-finals. We have the experience, all the experience in the world, and since 1991, in seven success in seven semi-finals, Spurs have lost successively seven semi-finals. It's the great free kick by Paul Gascoigne. Grinning, not gurning that day. Glorious and great he was. And Dyer was slumbering. And here's Ericsson, who tries to pick it up and pick up the pace for Tottenham and cuts it in. And he can just lack that little zip to get there. And who's back there, Jonathan Herrera? Scores the second goal, but that time makes the run. Tracking the pass from Ericsson to cut it out before into, he can play into Kane's path. Lucas Moura being, being ready by Maurizio Pochettino. They look glum, don't they? 
So a turn to the signing from Paris Saint-Germain to come on and change this cup semi-final. They won the cup three times with Paris Saint-Germain, won the Copa South America with Sao Paulo, with Lucas Moura. And he's only played seven and a quarter hours of football in the entire season. Dembele. Son was clipped. It's just a sack of the shoulders for key Tottenham players at the moment. Yeah, I think that's why the substitution is taking place, Jonathan. They need some energy, they need some spark. And it's going to be Ben Davis who departs for Spurs. comes Lucas Moura, bold move, a wide player, it's a bold move. I think Spurs will go to a back three. Dyer will slip in to a back three, one would presume, we'll wait and see if that happens. He's marching forward to the edge of the box currently. Dyer, Son, Lucas Moura's first touch, Son. This time cross, he looks weary. They have a throw. That's the midway mark in the second half. Yeah, Dyer gone into the heart of that Spurs defence. Sanchez gone out and Batongan is the three. Foul is there, Sanchez has gone down rather theatrically, I'd like to see this again. It's inflamed the situation. Well, the referee's given the foul against Dembele, looked to me as if he just brushed him off. Is it a flailing arm as he certainly as he struck Sanchez? Oh, there's a whole arm on his shoulder, he's pulling him to ground. He certainly doesn't strike him in the face, as Sanchez indicates. I'd love to see every player who goes down holding his face when he clearly hasn't been struck in the face, dealt with retrospectively. He might clear it up quickly. I agree with you totally, Jonathan. 2-1 to Manchester United. Lukaku. Son, Spurs started so strongly. It's just been something more durable about Manchester United. Maybe a bit more physical, maybe a bit fitness issue, I don't know, but a little bit more about them. It's a bit more confidence, I feel, in the second half. Confidence about their physicality and their mentality as well. Smaller. Seems happier with Jones on the side. Valencia. And Spurs. Chase, they will leave gaps now at a back three. You can see the Dyer, Davidson, Sanchez, and Vuitton. Who is it? Vuitton's come away to a left fullback position, it would seem. Now a trippy at a right fullback. Change and change. And Daniel Levy looking on. This leaves Spurs sees well with Watford. West Brom away, Newcastle at home and Leicester at home. That's, that's what they would be left with. I think they probably have done enough to be in the Champions League. I, I can't see Chelsea catching them, the referee here. And a yellow card for time wasting. Actually young, cautioned. Not for the first time this season. Jonathan, the whole season's about the next 20 minutes. Yes, they've been good here at Wembley in the Premier League and looks to secure the Champions League berth for next season, but their biggest chance of silverware is here in the FA Cup this season. Big 20 minutes left for Maurizio and his team. And it's caution confirmed for time wasting. Tottenham look for Deli Alley to get in behind Small and he read it well. Here's Valencia. Harry 
Kane turning, turning a little bit of trouble. Here's Paul Pogba looking for the diagonal run of Lukaku. His pace got him there, his strength got him there. Horton got to the shot, just didn't have the power to finish it off in the end, but superbly fed by Pogba. Powerful run from Lukaku, didn't have the shot at the end of it. And in that little interchange of play, we saw the difference between the two main centre forwards, really. Harry Kane struggled to get away on the half turn, Lukaku at the other end, brimful of confidence and fitness. And uncharacteristically for me, Harry Kane, the ball breaking down off him too many times in the game today. He'll be hating this, absolutely hating it. It's Tottenham through and through. Lucas Moura with the turn, Dembele, Eriksen. They've got gifted players who can craft an equaliser and very nearly got it. Very nearly got it. Well, how close was this from Eriksen? You can see, not really close down. The ball whizzing past the upright, taking the bottles with him. De Gea again, I'm not so sure he knows that's going wide. I think that's twice in the game. He's made a misjudgment. That one might have flown in from Christian Eriksen. Time is tight. But there is still time. Kane. This morning did well. So too did Harry Kane. But on it. Here's Son. Bright first half. Disappeared out of it in the second. Dembele. Spurs going narrow. And that's uh, well, a meet and drink for Phil Jones. And Popper. Well played, Jones and Pogba, keeping possession of the ball for Manchester United. Done well, Pogba, for me today, Clive. I think people want him to be a superstar, like a Ronaldo or a Messi in every game he plays. This is English top-flight football and FA Cup football. It's a different matter. Here's Sanchez. And leave it away by Dunn. Level of intensity, week in, week out. Physical intensity. It's nowhere greater than it is in top flight English club football. We Pogba. Lukaku allowed to turn. He's got the tackle in then. And Sanchez on the edge of the box. So they come again though, Manchester United. This is what he's done well all game. Pogba, he's found those pockets of space. Form parries, it might have been going wide. United have a little bit more energy, a little bit more urgency about everything that they're doing at the moment. And you give Paul Pogba time and space from 18 yeah, yards yeah, out, yeah. he's going to fire in shots. Form has it covered at his near post, but has to make sure he turns it round. 84,667 inside Wembley, 16 minutes to go. Lingard's corner kick met by the Smalling header over it. Though. He's claiming he's been held there as he made the run. need strengthening, they need freshening, and Yama's waiting to come off on that far touch line. Here's Eriksson, certainly won't take that, him off. Oh, Dele Alli not chasing again, here's Son. And Dele Alli, I think it would be. Yeah, I have to agree with there, Jonathan Dembele, dispossessed too often, certainly was for the opening United goal, not been as powerful and keeping the ball in this game. Here he is, he was linking with a summer move away to China. The only top Premier name who disappears out that way. The same is Ericsson, he comes across the top of the alley. Tom, Lucas Mora. Ericsson, Hopper quick to close the space, Ericsson's gone beyond him. It'll give and go back to Son, drifts out to the wider position. Trippier, the cross towards Harry Kane at the far post. And Manchester United get it away. Valencia does well at that far post as Harry Kane rises. Lucas Moura driving, rushed the pass.
Deli Ali foul. By Valencia. And, and Harry Kane is saying he's on a yellow card. I think it would have been harsh to give him a second one for that. There was a, a tussle, the two of them scrapping for it. Yeah, clever play from Deli Ali because he comes and closes Valencia and he almost lets him fall over the ball. There's no contact, there's no touch. Valencia, you can see, looking at the referee for a foul. He falls over without a push. Referee Anthony Taylor has got it absolutely right. Valencia indeed goes off for Spurs. Along comes to Vincent Wanyama, semi-finalist last year, the big midfield player, Kenyan international. Boo, are there boos for the substitution? A boo's coming from somewhere. I think it might be for Valencia, Just sort of taking his time to recover his position. Crucial the Spurs supporters. Crucial free kick here. 12 minutes to go. Plus a few seconds. Eriksen takes it for Spurs to the near post. Comes back out and over by Vertonghen. Manchester United are readying their substitutes as Marcus Rashford bundles of energy. Does he get enough? Football for Manchester United, four starts in 2018. They were going to make the substitution, they're just delaying things now because yeah, Valencia. Mourinho's gone to speak to Young because he's saying, I think he might not well have been taking Valencia out of this game, but he could well have changed his mind instantly now that he's gone down, he's receiving treatment. He's buying a little bit of time just for Jose Mourinho to reorganise his substitutions. Well, I think Darmian was going to come on anyway, and it might not have been for Valencia. He's now, Jonathan. He is now. Here comes the Italian fullback. 90 minutes in midweek, his first appearance since the 10th of March. A lot of Manchester United players coming back to fitness right at the end of the season. Valencia having been booked just on the edge, looks to be fatiguing, maybe he were picked up a slight injury as well. Jose Mourinho making that change, Damian will come in in that right back position. Winner against Crystal Palace here a couple of years ago. They played four times in the league this season, Damian Manchester United taking their time. Captain's armband goes to Ashley Young. Damian might have been originally coming on for him. Taken a long, long taken time. three minutes nearly, Jonathan, for that substitution to be made. It's infuriating for opposition there. And they did have Rashford ready. And they're ready in Rashford for another substitution and another opportunity to run the clock down. They'll wait until play restarts. And I would imagine as soon as it goes out again, they'll make another substitution. Ericsson forward. Swarming to the hair. It has to be said that Tottenham haven't worked too many when they hard enough. The Deli Alli goal and the Eric Dyer shot that hit the post. But they haven't done enough apart from that. They've had plenty of the ball. They haven't created enough play. They've not created chances and they've not tested De Gea with goals, shots on goal. There's Linga. Lukaku with a big burly presence in the mid. Dami. Oh, Linga was clipped there. That's a really painful one. Eric Dyer. Really is needless from Dyer because Lingard's going nowhere, he's going backwards, he has him in the right position and again raking down the back of his right Achilles. Why do defenders in the modern game go to win a ball that is not there to be won? Just stand him up, push him away from goal. Absolutely, you know that, you can see that he's nowhere near playing the ball. You're absolutely right, Jonathan, that really is a needless free kick to give away. More time for United to run down the clock. Opportunity now just to deliver into the danger area. Lingard is struggling here, and Manchester United might need to bring Rashford on for him. Sanchez with a free kick for Manchester United. Pogba is in there, gets his head to it, but foul. Dyer in getting there, and the Spurs fans ironically jeer the referee. I don't think he's got that much wrong. I really don't. Rashford, Rashford's going to come on here. Uh, I think he's refereed it well, yeah. Jonathan. He's refereed it 
as an FA Cup tie, and I've really enjoyed his decisions have been consistent. The man who got the winning goal score, the winning goal against Crystal Palace in 2016, departs. He's run the channels well. And listen to the Spurs fans there. Furious it's taken this length of time. The Manchester United fans, of course, they're roaring because they love this kid who's coming on now. Marcus Rashford. And he turned 20 in October. They say, why doesn't he play more? Of a club and country, he's played 53 times this season. He's only 20. 20 years of age, really dynamic is Rashford. At this stage of any game, a great player to introduce. Seven and a half minutes to go. Speculation about Rashford's future and whether he'll move in the summer. I don't think any of that's going to happen. Come through the ranks at Manchester United. Here's Deli Alli, Lucas Moura. Just over seven minutes to go. Eriksson. Well, Tonga making a running off the left hand side. And nothing on the end of it. Nothing at all. And nothing in the top end time. That is their second shot, I think, on target in the whole game. Yep, yeah, first of the second half in the 82nd minute. Here's Sanchez. Cross goes Eric Dyer to cover. On the ball for Manchester United. I think he's been good in that, doing that today. He's been aggressive, he's been determined. Something perhaps we haven't seen much of since arriving at Old Trafford. I think there is a big player, a big name. He had been a huge name at Arsenal, but there's a bigger name in English football than Manchester United. Over the years, the history is a huge club. Here's Rashford. It's a goal kick. Point I was trying to make there, Clive, is players go to Manchester United and they say, we, did, we had no idea how huge it was, the weight that's on your shoulders, until I went to Manchester United. Yeah, expectation is, is massive. It's win at all costs and you have to be successful and it was a massive price tag. They expected him to hit the ground running, that didn't quite happen. He's trying hard, but the confidence was at a low ebb. I think we've seen much more of the Sanchez that Jose Mourinho invested in in January. And Spurs shots, but only a couple on target, the one that hit the post. And Yama, poor ball to Lucas Mara. He did well to get a free kick out of it, needless foul by Matic. What is that all about? What is that all about? Look, look at the pace of Rashford, draws in the challenge, and as he hurdled Sanchez, he went down. And he's going to get a yellow card for simulation. I think that's the first poor decision from the referee because Rashford, you can clearly see, toes that ball down the line. Flip. He's hurdling Sanchez. He's certainly not simulated diving. He can't do anything other than hurdle over him. It should be a free kick to Manchester United. No booking. You could see the clip, couldn't you? Just on the bottom of his boot. Son goes off. The Tottenham disappointing second half for him and Eric Lamella comes on. Just little time to turn an FA Cup semi final around. Lucas Moura, the man making the run to the edge of the box is Eriksson. The Tonga, and away by Herrera, whose goal gives Manchester United this precious lead. Eriksson, to the alleys to his left, the Tonga further wide. Lucas Moura wants it in that little gap there, that little pocket of space. He can drive into the space. That could have been, that would have been. His best moment in a Spurs shirt. It wasn't. Well, I think he's being positive, but certainly the execution was really poor from Lucas Mora. De Gea, semi-final of the FA Cup, has had a very quiet afternoon. That save from the Ericsson Bobler, and well, it's the only save he's, he's made. Seen a couple of flash wide, or one flash wide, one at the post. Lukaku trying to get in behind Emerson Sanchez. Chippier. 
Ben Yama. Looked positive since he came on. Better. Ali Ali. Here's Vatong. Lucas Moura. And a great movement up front for Spurs. Look at those disciplined Manchester United players. Holding firm, holding the position. Plugging the gaps. Yeah, making Spurs play in front of them, not allowing them to penetrate between the lines. Midfielders dropping right back onto the centre back, squeezing that space back in there. Here's Vertonghen. Harry Kane just wants the one chance. He dreams of the one chance. He might get it here now. The foul by Sanchez. There's a slight slip by Sanchez, but you see pulling his shirt, pulling Vertonghen to ground. Is this the chance? Two minutes left of the 90, there'll be a hefty slice of stoppage time. Lamella with the free kick, and it's over the bar. By Wanyama, who was in there. Really difficult for Wanyama to get that on target. It's behind him when he heads it. You can see, hits him on the top of the head, no direction. 90 seconds to go. We're talking about Alexis Sanchez, he's the official Emirates FA Cup semi-final man of the match. I think this has been his best performance in a Manchester United show. Yeah, totally agree. And that goal was so beautifully taken. Pop across. You can see the delight on his face. His first FA Cup goal for Manchester United. And what a big goal it was. Free kick, there's going to be another yellow card, Matic, is it? Herrera, Herrera. I think. Spurs in the last minute need to get on with it. And we've been stopping the watch every time there has been a stoppage up there. We reckon there's at least six, four, I think, four or five. Here's Lamella. The header straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. A little chuckle from me because that six. <laughs> that was the hopeful, hopeful six from a former Tottenham man. Well, Kevin Friend, the board officials, in no hurry to show everybody how long's left. Deli Alley oh, took a chance, didn't he? So to the tongue and pressurised by Sanchez. That's what he's been doing all the while. Five minutes of stoppage time. Lamella to Sanchez, great roar from the Spurs fans as they saw that five go up. Lucas Mora and Lamella. Long, long layoff through injury, really got going, fits and starts since then. Mora finds Lamella. The Tong and tidy approach work, any final ball on it? Headed away by Jones, he's been colossus. For Manchester United, a colossus at the back. Poor ball, led by Lukaku. And nicked it away from Eriksen and can play out here on the break to Rashford. He has pace to burn, only Eric Dyer's back there. Rashford for Manchester United to put them into the FA Cup final. And Dyer did so well, and the youngster was hesitant, and the chance is gone. Yeah, I just thought with his pace that he really was going to attack Eric Dyer. In the end, Dyer does really well just to smother the opportunity for him to shoot. Lamella into Lucas Mora. Not too sure really if he's at the pace of English football yet, the Brazilian. Could have come to Manchester United before he went to PSG, actually. Here he is. And a great ball in, the build-up continues for Spurs. Manchester United again holding in disciplined positions. Lucas Mora, ball bubbled up, no, 
and have thought about a shot. Everything in front of the Manchester United defence. This is where United want them. In comes across to Deli Alley. It's headed away by Damian to Sanchez. Will run and run and forces the throw off on Yama. Matic has just fallen to the ground. Jesse Lingard watching on. Five minutes of stoppage time were allotted. We've had two and a half minutes of it. <laughs> oh, he's already got the cup. I think they were planning another substitution of Manchester United. Fellaini ready to come on. Think again. You know what Jose Mourinho was just asking Kevin Friend there, and he was just saying, Have you heard about that great game at Ashton Gate this afternoon? That's the one, yeah. 4 3. Fergie's got his watch out, look. <laughs> Checking the old Fergie time. Herrera's goal. Could be one of the most famous he'll ever score. And then Will took the hot spot. Be looking towards another season without silverware. It would seem likely now. I think there will be time added on to time added on. One Yama around the corner. Deli Alley. Here's Deverson Sanchez. Trippier goes high away on that far side, the right fullback. Pump long on the diagonal up towards Harry Kane, who's there for the second ball, Christian Eriksen. Good dogged work by Manchester United defensively again, it was Herrera. Lamella into Anyama, winds up for the big hit, hit his own player, I think it might have hit Harry Kane. Last minute of the 90, and Pogba for Manchester United, floats a cunning ball on the counter, and out comes Vaughan. And he jumped with Lukaku and just got there, but what part of his body did it hit? What part of his body did it hit? United said it was handball. If it was, it was a red card offence. And here come Tottenham. Here's Deli Alley. This could be their last chance. There's a free, there's a flag raised. And there's a free kick for Manchester United for the foul. Pat on the back for Smalling. Smalling and Jones together have looked terrific. They've been really solid. Really, really solid performance from both of them from start to finish in this game. Almost a wry smile. And ever the theatrical stage manager, Jose Mourinho, allows a standing ovation from Manchester United fans for the man of the match in this semi-final, Alexis Sanchez. A quick wave, and then as he shuffles off the pitch, Marouan Fellaini will come on. We're in stoppage time, for stoppage time. A check of the watch, and he knows they're nearly there. Delaney underneath it, so too Deli Alley. Eriksen hoits it forward in hope. And ultimately, desperation. Trippier. And it has to be one last big boot forward now from Vaughan. Could he have done better with the match winning goal? Questions and answers, riddles, conundrums. Eriksen. We won't have one last twist, I don't think so. I think he knows he knows his team's done the job, he knows he's done it again, Jonathan. Europa League winner at Manchester United League Cup, Community Shield, and he's yet to win silverware for Spurs. And he was terrific today. Left him out at Bournemouth, didn't bring him on from the bench. 
He asked big questions of Sanchez with that decision. And he's answered them today. And Manchester United are through to a 20th FA Cup final. There's the man who knows how to get teams past the winning post. Their hope for silverware still alive. For Tottenham, they've been extinguished. An eighth FA Cup semi-final defeats in a row. A sad record, Clive Allen. They started well, but Manchester United over 90 minutes, I think, with a better team. Despair for Delhi and for Tottenham. It's Manchester United coming back to Wembley in the FA Cup, and Spurs left to play league games here between now and the rest of the season. Manchester United 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1.